and here's where I would normally tee up our resident Hall of Famer, Tracy McGrady. But come on, we got the hero yes. of last night's game up, big strolling time. on set. Big time. Welcome, Landry Shannon. First of all, <laughs> you're rookie, you get traded midseason. Yep. You are playing in a big game two for your team. Mm -hmm. You knocked down the game winner. How does that feel, bro? I mean, yeah, a lot's happened. Um, trade, <laughs> uh, a lot of questions in my head, uh, not knowing what, what was going to happen from that point. Um, I gotta give Shea some credit though, on, on that clip. I mean, I don't know how he got the got that pass. Right, I mean, but that's rookie to rookie, by the right, way. Right, yeah, a little rookie. The two of you. Two yeah. rookies in a pivotal moment of the game. Right. That is, that's crazy. It's crazy, especially when Steph hits that shot that you have been watching since high school, frankly, right? Of right. him where yeah. he hits that shot and buries the team, yeah. right? The tough shots and, you know, playing good defense, you think, in your head, and then he, mm -hmm. you know, makes a tough one, and it's like, you know, a little dagger, I guess. But, you know, that's that's our team. We don't, you know, our, our poise didn't change throughout the entire game, and that's, you know, that's why I love our group. We had that clip of Doc saying that I told him at halftime, we're going to come back. And... I don't know if I had been sitting in that locker room, I might have rolled my eyes a little bit. Um, did you believe him at that point, or was there a point so in the third or fourth quarter? So before you answer that, I played for Doc <laughs> and Orlando for three years, <clears throat> and there were times where I felt like, all right, this game is over. Right. And he will give a hell of a speech. Like he he is probably by far the best <laughs> at giving a speech <laughs> and having Honestly. a team want to run through the wall. Honestly, pregame speech, Pre half game, uh, yeah. halftime speeches. Like he's the best at that. Yeah. How did you feel when he gave you guys that speech and you were down 30? It's funny. So my first game actually with the Clippers, we were, you know, we played Boston. Uh, we're in the exact same situation, down 28. Um, and I'm thinking like, man, like just got traded. Like this is what it's going to be like now. Um, but you're feeling <laughs> exactly the same at halftime. Like, you know, you're getting blitzed and you, know, you don't got any answers. And, and Doc comes in talking and has you feeling like, you know, it's a it's an even playing field. You're not down. and. That's uh, the same thing you did the other night, last night, and um, had us all ready to go. I mean, it was, it was you want to play for him. First of all, I love that, that, that you felt that way yeah. from him when you played for him, too. It's funny you mentioned that Boston game. Our friend Lee Jenkins, who now works in the Clippers front office, was texting me this morning about that game. And he said that he thinks you saved their season. That there was, there was an idea of, hey, we just traded Tobias. Guys are a little frustrated. Felt like, hey, I thought we were going for it here, that sort of thing. You coming in, playing so well in that game. Help convince everybody, oh, oh, we're good, actually. We, we got good guys back in this trade. You guys made the comeback. You did it again. Was there a point in this game last night where you thought, oh, this is close enough? Was it when you guys were within 10? Was it When was it that you light bulb went on and we be like, we're to, not just fighting. We're actually yeah. going to win this. We got it to 10 a couple times. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, it's, it's the Golden State Warriors. They didn't go away either. Um, they just kept going. We could never get past that 10-point mark. You got it to like 10, 12 a couple times. Yeah. Uh, but once, I think when Pat had to steal a half court, this it back to Gallo for mm -hmm. the dunk. I think that was when I was, then they called the timeout. That was when, in my head, I'm like, okay, like, like we're here, like we're in here. Um, that was my thought process. For you, other than Doc, who instills the confidence within yourself when you're out there on the court in, in these type of games? Everybody. I mean, you know, Lou, Pat, uh, Trez, Lou and shoot around. You know, today, he you know, obviously knew I didn't shoot that great the first game. Uh, <laughs> He just came up to me, simply asked. He was like, "I'll take you for the the not confident type, right?" And I was like, "Yeah, of course not." And he, was, mm -hmm. he just pat me on the butt and walked away. Like that's simple as that, you know. But like, you know, it goes a long way knowing mm -hmm. that my teammates, regardless of how I shoot one game, uh, you know, it doesn't change anything. They want me to keep shooting the ball. I mean, I love Doc calling you guys the roaches, right? That's In the new. locker room I, afterward. I heard that yet. <laughs> it was pretty great. Um, what do you think that's true? I mean, you guys have. I mean, you've had several double-digit comeback wins this season. And there has been sort of this comeback, comeback from the Blake Griffin trade, obviously, before your time, but comeback from the Chris Paul trade before your time, comeback from the Tobias Harris trade that brought you there. So many times people have counted this team out. How do you think that applies to you? Why, where did that come from, that you can be roaches? Just that chip, <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, that we can be roaches. Uh, I mean, just everybody from top to bottom kind of has a chip. You know, nobody's really that... You know, A-list, you know, superstar on our team. Lou Will, maybe, but, you know, Lou, Gallo, two guys, professional scorers that, you know, do what they do nightly and, you know, score with the best of them. And then from there down, Trez and Pat, I think they set the tone for, like, the energy mm -hmm. of our team, you know, just the edgy, 
um, not backing down from anybody. You got guys that can come off the bench and know their role, like their role. I think that's the difference with this team. Guys that enjoy their role, uh, embody it, embrace it, and mm -hmm. know what they have to do to help our, help us win. So uh, I think everybody from top to bottom just embodies, you know, the, the not giving up, not backing down role. Listen, this team, these guys, they just do their job, and that's what it is. We talk about this yep. all, all the time on the show. When there's talented teams and guys are trying to do too much, these guys just go out. Everyone does their job. They know their roles. It's amazing. I know you've got that never cheated line never of cheated, clothing yeah. about, yeah. you know, I never get quit. I never, I never cheated the game, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. I want you to get a Roaches t-shirt. I would like all of you guys <laughs> yeah, in that. Right, right. Um, <laughs> and, and again, as I mentioned, that Pat Beverly clinic on KD, before we go to break here, can you just explain what it's like to watch him go to work on someone a foot taller than him? Going to go down as one of the greatest guys to play this game, and yeah. he is not afraid. No, he, he, and what I tell people all the time, too, it's not just KD. If he's guarding, you know, name anybody else in the league. He's the same way, same approach. That's what makes him such a good defender, such a good player. He's not, he doesn't take nights off. He's that intense, talking, uh, trying to, you know, play the mental games, do what he has to do to get that edge. Mm -hmm. um, that's just who he is, so. Um, 3,005 seconds. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was fun to watch. I mean, it's, it's becoming it's normal now. It is. It's normal at this point, but, you know, when I first got here, it was very, you know, you're like, wow, this guy's, this guy's different. He's a little nuts. He's the guy yeah. that you love to, you, you hate playing against him, and you love having yeah, him on your team. Absolutely. Guys, love having you on the team. Congratulations, Landry. Thanks. That was a Congrats. huge Appreciate bucket it. last night. We love that you stopped by. I know you're going to have a lot more in your future. Thank sure. you very yeah, much. Thank you.